Alright, so next step is to take care of the the, the motors. Um, the declination axis is a little bit different from the RA axis, so make sure that you're using the correct part. So it says on the label here that this is for declination axis. And in the beginning, we, before we took the motors out, I, I marked this one as the declination motor. Uh, the first thing to do is to figure out which way around this thing will actually go onto the motor. And the idea is that this has three socket head bolts that's holding this plate to the motor. Those are going to be holding, actually we're probably going to use these new bolts instead. So this will be replaced by this plate using the, these three bolts going into these holes over here. Uh, it's probably going to become a bit more clear before I, uh, when I start actually doing this job. Um, first we need to take off the old plate Put that on one side, and then we need to take off the pinion, which is held by these two grub screws here. So let's loosen them up. There we go. So that's the pinion out. And then we need to separate these plates from each other. So this is the plate that will go into the motor. And here you have to be a bit careful and make sure that it's going the right way around. When you have the wires pointing to the left and these three holes pointing to the right, uh, that's the correct way of fitting this plate. So we can tighten these screws up and the instructions is also warning about not over tightening these bolts because it's very, very easy to strip the, the threads. Turn that one. This one. This one. So that's the plate in position. So when you when you actually put this motor back into the mount, the wires will be pointing to the right and the belt will come from this direction. And this plate will be attached by these th three screws. So you will be screwing the plates in position using these holes and threads. And the belt will go, go through these two idler pulleys. Right, so before going any further with these plates, we need to attach the new pinion or the timing pulley. Let's loosen up the grub screws, there's two of them again. Before putting it on the mount, it's also a good idea to check if there's any dents on the shaft. There is a small dent in there, but I'm not sure if that's going to affect anything. Let's see how easily this goes in and the grub screw seems to be the same length so it doesn't really matter which one of the grub screws you align with the flat piece of the shaft okay it looks like I'm gonna have to file those dents a little using a needle file
try again. That's in. Uh, before we tighten the grub screws, we're going to have to uh, adjust the position of it. Is another pull it to match the height of the pulley. Push that down a little bit more. using a allen key to measure how well the belt is going to be riding on top of the pulley seems quite alright for me The only problem is that I should have left the plate away because now I'm not able to screw down those grab screws. So the plate is in the way, so I'm going to remove the plate. and replace the plate again wires facing left, holes facing right okay, don't over tighten this so that's the Declination axis motor sorted for now. Let's put that on one side and I will find the parts for the other motor.